down to the issue of national security, my guest tonight has created a firestorm in Washington over what he says is a cover-up of vital pre-9-11 intelligence. It is the highly classified Able Danger program. And it identified Mohammed Atta and three other 9-11 terrorists as members of an al-Qaeda cell in Brooklyn, New York, more than a year before the attacks. Congressman Kurt Weldon says the man who blew the whistle on this intelligence, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Schaffer, is now the subject of a smear campaign by the Defense Intelligence Agency. Congressman Weldon blasted the DIA in a fiery speech on the House floor just last night. This is an attempt to prevent the American people from knowing the facts about how we could have prevented 9-11 and people are covering it up today. And they're ruining the career of a military officer to do it. And we can't let it stand. Why would the Defense Intelligence Agency want to destroy the reputation, as you point, as you point out, a decorated career uh, member uh, of the United States uh, military? Who, when the story is told, when the able danger story comes out, there's going to be embarrassment all over the place. The Defense Intelligence Agency spending hundreds of millions of dollars could not do what a 20-member special team did in identifying through data mining Mohammed Atta and the Brooklyn cell one year before 9-11. Those DIA officials are still in the agency. They're still there working, and they don't want Tony Schaefer to tell the truth. They don't want Commander Scott Philpott to tell the truth because they're then going to have to answer the question, why did you ignore this? Why did you not take appropriate steps? Why did this information not be passed to the FBI? Louis Free this past Sunday said on Meet the Press that if he'd had the able danger information, the FBI could have stopped the hijackings. The uproar over what appears to be yet another intelligence breakdown related to September 11th continues today with more questions about an intelligence operation called Able Danger. Congress wants to know if Able Danger identified hijacker Mohammed Atta before the attacks, and if so, why the information never made it into the September 11th Commission's report. Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Schaefer has connections to the operation and joins us now. Uh, Colonel, first thing, get this straight for me. I read all sorts of different right. accounts. Did you and people in Able Danger, or did you not know the name Muhammad Atta? Atta, beforehand? yes, we did. Atta was part of the list of names that we identified as having links to Al Qaeda leadership, which to us was a very clear indication that these guys were here to do bad things. Uh, right now, we're looking for the exact data to, to back this up. Uh, there are several folks out I've talked to today that are actually looking through databases, looking for the hard copies of this. So I'm convinced it's just a matter of time before it comes forward. But yes, Atal was part of what we've called the, the Brooklyn cell, that group of folks who were in there that we identified with links back to Al-Qaeda. Now, we, we've been cautioned by some of the Pentagon to say, steer clear of this story. It's just, you know, we don't have anything to back it up. Tell us why people ought to be saying, okay, these guys, they, they know what they're talking about. Well, at the time we did this, you had a four-star general, General Hugh Shelton, chairman of the Joint Chiefs, say, hey, Al-Qaeda is a threat. General Schoolmaker, Commander, Special Operations Command, go do something about it. That's significant. One of the questions I think the press is, for, is forgetting to ask is, why did this get turned off? Just the fact that we had a targeting effort against Al-Qaeda in the spring of 2001, just three to four months before we were attacked. No one seems to be able to even address that right now. Everybody acknowledges able danger existed. Everybody acknowledges we were targeting these guys and that, that, that we were doing it through this advanced technology. But nobody can answer the hard question. Why was it turned off?